Pisces, what is up? It's your girl, Kat. We're going to do weekly reading right now. I just got back from my run. I haven't gotten in the shower yet, but I just wanted to do the cards really quick. Um, the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Pentacles. It's about security, stability, um, commitment. All right. Um, so bear with me while I lay all these out. I'm going to interpret them for you in just a minute here. Okay. Let's shuffle our clarifying deck a little bit. I don't know. All right, Pisces. We have the Knight of Wands, inconsistent behavior, uh, hot and cold, on and off, in and out. Okay, can also be a little immature. Um, but we start off the reading with the Ace of Cups, which is amazing. This is complete emotional fulfillment, right? And that's clarified by the Seven of Pentacles. So I feel like you've been waiting for this to happen for a while. You've been waiting for this to come to you. This beautiful, harmonious, uh, emotionally fulfilling relationship, right? Undisclosed thoughts and feelings. This is like keeping things to yourself. It has something to do with travel. Or traveling or like new locations or something like that so something about traveling you're not communicating or verbalizing you have hidden feelings and thoughts about traveling that you're not expressing <laughs> the magician it's all about manifesting and that's the queen of swords so i feel like you want to simplify things pisces i feel like you want to cut some things out that um are not working for you that are complicating your life or stressing you out i feel like you just you you manifesting a simpler life a less stressful life here is the knight of swords this can be reckless and impulsive and that is coupled with disappointment and regret so there could be some kind of action or speech here um that was reckless and a little hurtful or damaging and now you're very disappointed um kind of losing hope in a situation possibly so you have undisclosed thoughts and feelings about traveling you're trying to simplify your life and there was something done or said recklessly without really thinking it through that you're now disappointed or regretting so far. <laughs> the reading's still early. <laughs> All right, it's the King of Swords. It's clarified by the Hermit. Okay, so I feel like there's a period of self-reflection, right? Where you're gonna turn inwards and you're just gonna kind of like soul searching, you know? And, and when you come out of this phase, you're gonna be ready to take some action, okay? Something to do with this very strong partnership. You're wanting a break from it. You're needing a time out from this connection. Maybe it's too much for you. Maybe it's a little overwhelming. Five of Pentacles. Clarified by the Six of Wands. So the Five of Pentacles is either financial hardship or lack, or it's no contact with somebody. And because I just pulled the combination of needing a break from this connection, I feel like it's no contact, you guys. Pisces, I feel like you're going to cut somebody off. A lot of swords here. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, third party situation. The emperor. So there could be an older gentleman here or somebody who's just kind of like in a leadership position, who's very like mature and wise. Um, well, there's, a, there's a third party here. There's, there's somebody else involved. You could have another option. I feel like you have the other option, Pisces. There's, there's somebody else. There's like a, a, a mature, older person 
that that you could be cutting off this other person to be with. Now you have options here. The magician manifesting again. Isn't it funny? We just had manifesting and the queen of swords, and now we have manifesting and the two of swords. It's a whole lot of swords in this reading. I'm telling you, I feel like you're cutting somebody off. I feel like you're ending something. And I think you might have another option here that you are considering. I feel like you've been hanging in hanging on to a relationship here for a really long time that possibly you haven't been happy in for a while because this is a very big commitment this is this is a serious commitment here this big ace of pentacles you know this is this ain't the page of pentacles it's the ace this is a big commitment and the two cups as well it's a very big commitment this is a deep commitment and the ace of cups as well I feel like you've been hanging on to this, but you haven't really been feeling it for a while. Just kind of going through the motions. And you possibly could have somebody else. You know, stage left <laughs> from the past. Somebody from the past that you had an argument with. <sighs> Somebody from the past that you said some shit. Oh, Pisces, you said or did something really, really reckless and you have regretted it ever since it came out of your mouth. You had a fight with this person and broke up. But I feel like you've been messaging them. Yes, you've been hanging on to them as well. Ooh, Pisces, you little minx. You, <laughs> you got options. Here's things coming back around, being restored to you. Queen of Wands, yeah, and she gets a lot of attention, baby. A lot of admirers. Oh my goodness. So I think that you're ending a very serious commitment here. I think that you've been hanging on to a relationship that you're not really feeling for a while. Um, and you haven't really expressed anything about it. You haven't said anything about it. But you've just been kind of like watching and waiting and letting it play out. But I do feel like you're ready to like, you've done some soul searching. You're ready to make a move here and you're ready to just cut things off. And I think that there's somebody from your past that you're in no contact with or you had been in no contact with that you're talking to again behind the scenes here. And I think that you are trying to make a decision on what you want to do. Oh, let's pull a couple more. Oh, yes, a judgment. You're giving this person a second chance, 100%. This is somebody from the past coming back. Oh, and baby, if you're the queen of wands, guess what? They're the king of wands. This is a good match for you. This is, I think this is somebody that you probably had, like, y'all, like, used to burn the bedroom down together or something. Like, there's a lot of wands here and a lot of swords here. So it's a very passionate connection you have with this other person. And I think that you're giving them another chance. Yep, because there's the sippy cup of love. There's the offer. Yeah, you're going to get into a relationship with this other person. They're very passionate and fiery. It could be a fire sign, a Leo, a Sagittarius, or an Aries. Hmm. All right. Let's... um. do these my hair <laughs> can't wait to go take a shower all right stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and faith will bring you romance okay so think positively and have faith and it's all gonna work out love yourself first your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive okay so i do feel like you've been settling for a, a connection that you're not really feeling okay and i feel like you you do need to put that to rest and just love yourself first and stay optimistic about your love life and um i do think that this other person <laughs> um 
on the side here, looks like you're going to be giving them a second chance and cutting it off with this other person. All right. Well, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, I would love it if you would do that for me. And if you want to be notified when I upload a new video, there's a bell shape. You hit that, you get a notification. All right, guys, I'm going to go take a shower. <laughs> Until next time, take care. Bye.